Hi, we are at uh, Aktiesparnas Småbolagsdag and I am here with uh, Paul Marsden, Managing Director of Nordic Iron Ore. Paul, thank you very much for coming. Morning. Morning. Uh, can you give us a general overview about uh, the company? Yeah, the Nordic Iron Ore is uh, looking to reopen some uh, old mines in the uh, Ludvika district. Uh, Blötbeget and uh, Hawkesbury and the in-between area of uh, Vassman. So we're currently focused on reopening uh, Blötbeget, so we're completing our feasibility study to, uh, to see that this is uh, a viable proposition. Okay. Uh, and uh, you are also planning a market listing of the share? That's correct, yes. Um, we, we are currently doing a rights issue uh, during June. And this will be followed in uh, the last two weeks of August uh, with a listing on First North uh, Stockholm. Okay, that's interesting. So, uh, can you please describe the current market situation for iron, the iron ore market and also uh, your view of the market going forward? Uh, how is, that's the future. Yeah, the, the, the iron ore market has, has changed in the last few years in that. Uh, there is the bulk market, which everybody refers to, the 62 iron market. Uh, and then there's the 65 iron market, which is now looking at the higher qualities. And uh, the demand for high quality iron ore, which is what uh, Nordic iron ore will produce, um, has uh, in improved considerably. And uh, we have a situation now where there is a, a lot of demand for these high quality iron ores and uh, not so much supply f now uh, or into the future. And it's driven largely by uh, China's requirements for improving environmental conditions, emissions, uh, and improving product quality. But uh, also other nations uh, also as well. Okay, okay. How do you see the, um, the plans after you have released the uh, definitive feasibility study? When can we expect a financing solution? Or and uh, when are you planning first or and what kind of uh, production levels are we talking about? Uh, Okay, um, the, uh, the feasibility study uh, is now in its final stages. All the technical de-risking has basically been completed and we're now looking at the final designs and the uh, costing of, of uh, executing the project. Uh, we expect to conclude that uh, by the end of the first quarter or so, by April next year, but we will know the results early next year and uh, we should then start to, to look at the decision-making process as to whether we, we go ahead and finance uh, to, for construction. Uh, the plan then would be that uh, we, we'd get finance, say, in the middle of next year and start construction pretty, pretty quickly, uh, con conclude con uh, construction and commissioning of the plant and start production in uh, 2021. That would, be, uh, that would be the ideal scenario. Okay. And uh, how much um, capex, uh, capital costs um, do you expect to need to develop the mine? Our current, <coughs> uh, our current estimates are that it'll be uh, something in the order of 200 million dollars, US dollars. Um, that, of course, is what the uh, feasibility study will, will conclude and confirm, we hope. Uh, and then uh, we'd, we'd look to uh, raise that funds and also hopefully raise enough funds to continue exploration and so on. Okay. And uh, how do the economics of the project um, uh, compare to similar projects worldwide? Uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, compared with uh, many projects, we, we look pretty good. Um, we, we've got a low cost base of production, ca uh, cash cost for production for such a high quality of product. We're looking at 69% iron. This is you know, amongst the world's best. And uh, our, our, our OPEX requirements are, are, are quite reasonable. Lots of other projects of similar nature, both in Scandinavia, Europe, uh, Canada, uh, Brazil, and Australia have, have, have closed uh, because of... Uh, the decline in the prices. I think some are looking at maybe reopening, but uh, there are very, very few in the supply chain in the, in the foreseeable years. Okay. And uh, are all environmental um, permits in place, or, or are there some permits still pending? Or Yeah, I mean, we're always looking at uh, increasing our number of our permits or the extent. But uh, we have the important one in place for Blurtbeget, which is our first focus of attention. Uh, to get opened. And Blurt Brigade has got all of its permits in place, so it's got its mining concession, environmental permit, even building permits. 
Hawkesbury has also got its environmental permit and uh, mining concession. And we recently uh, received the mining concession for the uh, Ves for Vestman, which is a deposit between the two. So uh, yeah, we're well placed on our concessions and uh, we look to advance them in the coming years. Okay. And uh, in the mining business, um, strong uh, management is often, often key to uh, success. Uh, can you describe a little bit about your background and uh, your colleagues' background? Yes, uh, certainly. Well, uh, I'm, I'm joined uh, by two, two colleagues, uh, technical director Hans Torshjorg and Marcus Carlson, uh, our mi senior mining engineer. Uh, and they both have extensive backgrounds uh, worldwide in, with well-known companies such as LKB, Lundin, uh, and so on. Uh, and myself, I've been involved for, for nearly 40 years now with uh, uh, iron ore mining and steel industry developments uh, around the world. And I've worked for British Steel, British Steel Consultants, Chorus Consulting, and uh, uh, more recently, uh, Northland Resources. Okay. And uh, <coughs> what do you see as the main potential threats to the company? Uh, is it a, a more a global economic um, uh, potential threats or are they more in connection to geological uh, risks, etc.? Or how do you see it? Yeah, I think, I think our technical risks have, have been minimized. I think uh, we, we have a situation where we know a lot about the deposit and we've done all the technical things. We, we've come up with a, a, a new mining method which we believe to be a, a lot safer and a lot more productive um, and uh, so we've, we've de-risked the, uh, the, the project that way we we have existing infrastructure railway and port all in place and a very cost-effective logistic solution so those kind of risks are, have been uh, negated I think our main risks are more on the market side global economics um, and the ability hence to finance the project. I think that's, uh, that's probably our biggest concern, I, gu I guess, going forward. And uh, yeah, there's some activity uh, uh, in, in the global markets at the moment with uh, trade wars looming that uh, don't, don't help matters. But okay. usually in the long run, uh, they, they all fall away, but uh, let, let's hope so. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, please tell us, are you doing any exploration activities at the moment or that come at a later stage or how, how are you planning that? Yes, at the moment our focus is to get the feasibility done and uh, we believe that will make us a lot more attractive to investors uh, one, once that's, uh, the results of that are known. And that's really the focus of our attention. Uh, then we'll move on to the main financing. Um, but uh, in that financing, yeah, we would certainly like to raise some funds so that uh, we can continue exploration, particularly of Vestman, which uh, promises you know, several hundred million tons of, of, of resources. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to doing that, but uh, of course you, you need some capital to do it, and uh, that will be something for, uh, for, for the future. Okay. And uh, <coughs> so to my last question, uh, a little bit to sum up uh, what... Um, potential uh, share triggers can you see, um, possible share triggers can you see the coming one, two years? Yeah, I mean, as we're listing um, in, in late August this year, um, I see the share triggered by a, a, good, a good feasibility study result, um, interest and activity perhaps brought to the company uh, with strategic investors as a result of that would, be, would, would help a lot. Um, and I, I think then, you know, the, the plans to do a, a large raising to, to build the mine and hopefully do other exploration work will, uh, should, should look pretty attractive to people. I think there's a, a really good long-term future for, for this mine. Okay, okay. Well, um, thank you very much for this interview and I'm looking forward to hearing more from the company. Thank You're you. You're welcome and thank you very much indeed. Thank oh, you. Thank you.